Hi, my name's Alex Graff. I am the other owner of Investing with Joseph and Alex Graff. And I'm just doing this video today and I'm going to tell you a little bit about me, a little bit about how I like to invest and like uh, what strategies I like. So let's get started. Um, like I said, my name's Alex. I've been investing uh, in stocks for about six months now. Um, and the only reason it's only been six months is because I just turned 18 uh, about six months ago. So, But even before that, I had been trading um, you know, like simulations. Market Watch has a simulation um, that I, I used and I like that. Um, but even, even before that, I had inv been investing in a Roth IRA. And what that is, is it's, um, it's a retirement account and you can use it you can invest in lots of different stuff in there uh what i like to invest in is etfs which are exchange traded funds and what those allow you to do is they allow you to get a lot of diversification for not too much money most of the etfs that i buy are anywhere from 40 to like 200 dollars per share and what what it does is it gives you a lot of diversification because it gives you a lots lots of different shares of stocks but they're just fractional shares so it gives you lots of different stocks and um so therefore lots of diversification and um uh, they usually come in different categories like index indices um like s p 500 indice um you know like automotive, uh, technology, all kinds of different stuff. Um, and so I've been doing that for about two years, as well as um, I traded simulations for about two years before this. So overall, I've been trading for about two, two and a half years now. Um, so the first thing that I, I ask when um, somebody tells me that they like to trade stocks or they like to invest is what kind of investor are they? And usually there's two main groups, value investing and growth investing. Uh, value investing is investing in a company that you know, uh, big company, companies that uh, everybody knows about. They have a good business model and they're safe because you know they're not going to lose too much money anytime soon. And companies like this would be um, Ford, McDonald's, Google, Apple, Walmart, all companies that, you know, big companies that you know about. Uh, growth, on the other hand, is a lesser, lesser known companies, uh, smaller companies, and uh, companies that have room to grow. So say that this company is only operating in uh, on the West Coast or something, or only, only operating in a certain region of the country. And that's not always the case. Sometimes they're big companies that operate throughout throughout the entire United States or maybe throughout the entire world, but um, they still have more room to grow. And so what's what's nice about that is if they're in a, you know, a smaller part of the country or maybe just in North America and trying to expand to uh, the rest of the world, the nice thing is they can, they have lots of room to expand and which means lots of room for growth, lots of room for more profits and lots of room for uh, higher stock prices, uh, essentially. And the good thing about those are they have, uh, obviously, better returns sometimes, but they're less safe is the thing. So the thing with value investing is it's nice and safe, uh, keeps your money secure. You know that they're going to make money for you if you hold them for long enough. But with growth investing, they could expand a lot, but they could also uh, go bankrupt because they don't have they don't have as much money as you know the WalMarts, the Cokes, the Apples, the Googles have. Um, so my strategy is that I like um, I think of myself as more of a value investor, but I also I also like investing in dividend stocks. And often you see those two go hand in hand because um, a lot of growth stocks aren't necessarily profitable yet, but they're going to be profitable in a couple of years. Um, and so you, you don't see very many companies that aren't profitable pay, pay out dividends because that, that doesn't really make sense. Um, so I like dividend stocks with a long history of good dividends. Um, so, for example, say 
Uh, they've been increasing their dividend for the past 20, 30 years. That's always a good sign of a good growing company that's still growing, um, but is also, you know, a secure company. So say that I buy a share of company X for $20 now, and they pay a 10 cent dividend every quarter. Um, that's a, that's a pretty good dividend. That's about a 5% yield. Um, so, and then say 20 years from now, their dividend goes up to 20, 30 cents a share. And I remember I still bought that share of stock for $20. So that's a 10 to 15% uh, yield. And so that, that gives you a lot of good, um, that, that's, that's very valuable because you, you you're not going to buy a stock that gives you a 10 to 15% share right away. You're going to have to wait for a little bit. And so that's what I like to do. Um, dividend stocks. And what I like, what I think is, um, if you stay in a company for long enough, if you hold that comp if you hold a share of that company for long enough and it's a good company, um, you're, you're going to make money off of it. So, um, you know, it, it might go down, a, it might go down for a year, might go down for two years, might go down for five years. But if you hold on to it long enough and it's a good company, you're going to make money off of it. That's it's pretty simple. Um, yeah. And so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and, uh, see you next time.